you will often have to pipette small volumes of viscous solutions like glycerol or detergents. These can pose some problems to pipette accurately as viscous solutions enter the tip slowly and can adhere to the outside of the tip. They are also very difficult to completely expel from the end of the tip. Fortunately, there are a couple of techniques you can use to avoid these problems. It is possible to widen the opening of the tip by using the scissors to cut off its end. This makes it easier to draw up the viscous liquid. Another technique for pipetting viscous solutions is called reverse pipetting. As the name implies, the action of pipetting is done in reverse. Set the volume of the pipette to the volume you desire. Initially the plunger is depressed down past the first stop to the second stop. Draw up the viscous solution slowly. A greater volume than what is set is drawn up into the tip. Obviously you can't do this if the pipette is already set to its maximum volume. You may need to wipe the tip with a clean tissue at this stage to remove any liquid adhering to the outside. To dispense the volume of fluid required, the plunger is depressed down to the first stop only. The excess fluid is retained in the tip and can be ejected along with the tip into an appropriate waste container.